What is up, baseball fans? Welcome to a very special stream here on Tuesday Night Baseball here on the Out of the Park Developments channel. I, of course, am Chris Jardine, a.k.a. Snaggle J, Associate Community Manager for Out of the Park Baseball, and I have been looking forward to this stream for a long, long time. As tonight, I am going to give you a first-hand live walkthrough of our brand new mode perfect team now first things first guys this is a beta version of perfect team you can try perfect team right now as long as you have a copy of out of the park baseball 19 make sure that you have it updated to the most recent version which is 19.9 build 115 you can play perfect team right now i'm going to show you guys a bit of a tour of the mode here this evening if you guys have questions in the chat feel free to ask them i will do my best to answer all the questions that i can um if you guys have any additional questions you want some stuff afterwards you can find perfect team has its own twitter account twitter.com slash ootp perfect team all one word or you can jump in the discord discord.gg slash ootp um, TJ and I are both in there. We answer as many questions as we can. And we have a lot of guys in the Discord who are very, very knowledgeable. So you want to set up your own perfect team. It's really easy to do. What you need to do is you need to log in down here in the challenge mode portion of the screen. If you don't have an account, you can register for an account. It's pretty easy to do. You put in your email. You're going to get an activation link in your email. Boom, you're going to put it in your username, my username, obviously, Snaggle J. And I'm going to log in. I'm going to click Remember Me, and I'm going to log in. I might put it. So it's successful. Boom. What that's going to do is once you sign in, you're going to be able to play Perfect Team right here. Now, when you click Play Perfect Team the first time, it is going to ask you to design your team, and you're going to get six. Six? Is it five or six packs? I think it's six. Six packs of cards, we're going with that. That's going to get you started your team. Now, obviously, I already have a team. We're going to jump in. Whenever you create your team, you are going to go in what is called the entry pool. The entry pool will let you play random users every 30 minutes. Um, there is some downtime periodically. It's kind of intermittent right now. But the entry pool is like a holding area. It will let you explore your team, play some games, which will let you earn perfect points. Perfect points is our in-game currency. It is the only in-game currency that we have is perfect points. So if you hear me say PP at any point, perfect points, PP, that's our in-game currency. That's what you use to buy packs. But what being in the entry pool will allow you to do is will allow you to uh, build your team, set your strategies very similar to a full game of out-of-the-park baseball. You can see down here in the bottom left-hand corner, my team has had some achievements. Javier Baez had two home runs. Carlos Santana had six RBIs, um, also had two home runs. Daniel Descalso had four hits. Gary Sanchez had five RBIs. All of these, you see the PP symbol, all of those achievements will generate you in-game currency. So while you're in the entry pool, um, you're just going to keep playing games against other teams, games against other teams. On Mondays is when we reset the leagues. So now the universe is not working yet. We're going to have a wonderful little screen here that's going to show you the hierarchy of all of our leagues. So if I look right now, I am in uh, the Psi Kappa League right now. So basically... On Mondays, your team will go from the entry pool automatically into a rookie league where you're going to be matched up in an MLB-style league against 29 other teams, and you are going to play a full 162-game schedule that will take a week. Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, we automatically simulate the regular season in the background 31 days are simulated every real life day. Now you see right next to my beautiful face up here, this countdown, that is the countdown to the next simulation. So in 24 minutes and 44 seconds, May 22nd of 2020 is going to be simulated. At the end of Saturday, Sunday is your playoffs. 
It's where it all comes where it all comes down to it. Sunday is your league playoffs where you can jump in, you can manage your team, you could try. It's all it's all about winning, chat. That's what it's all about. It's all about winning your league's championship. At the end of Sunday, we have promotion and relegation. Now, right now in the beta, we've only had one week. So on Monday, a bunch of people from Rookie League got promoted to Class A. And then Class A this week, some Class A guys are going to go to Double A. They're going to go to Triple A. And eventually, the goal, the top of the mountain, the top of the mountain in perfect team is Major League. That is where the best of the best are going to end up in that Major League. Now, as I said... Right now, where we've just started and we're in the beta phase, obviously last week, everybody went up. Not everybody. I didn't go up. I stayed in rookie league because my team is terrible, which we're going to try to fix here very shortly. But there is the possibility you will relegate as well. If your team has a rough league, you may jump down a level. So that's kind of the cool part is after a few cycles through, you're going to be matched up against teams that are performing similarly to you. Yeah, sure thing, Vulpix. That's no problem. You're going to be performing similar, or you're going to be matched up, sorry, against teams that are performing similar to you. So you can see right now, I am the Snaggletown Sluggers. I am over here in the AC East Division uh, with my buddy. Shout out to Casey Knapp, big, big Twitter fan. Uh, the Willie Bay Willies. You can see the Snaggletown Sluggers chat. We're not doing real, real hot right now. We're solid 19 and 26 on the season. It's it's not good. Things have not been good for the Snaggletown Sluggers. Now, because you're not actively playing the games, we have given you a host of st strategic options that are pulled right from the main games. So if you go to your team, you have the full roster management. You were allowed to have 25 players on your active roster. Makes sense. <laughs> Bad news started 0 and 8. That happens. Then you have a reserve roster as well. Your reserve roster is limited to 175 players. You can have infinite amount of cards. You just have to manage your inactive cards. So you can deactivate cards here. This is my main screen. You can see I have one diamond, Josh Donaldson. I only have five golds. So the, here you can deactivate. You can see where all your players are. I don't have that many right now, so I don't have my um, reserve raw or sorry, my inactives. I don't have any inactives yet. But you can manage all of those there. Just like in a regular o OTP league, we have mail. Mail's going to come in. You can customize what you get for mail down here. I have it set to the entire league because I'm trying to monitor different things and make sure that, you know, the right messages are coming through, but you get things from your league, things for your team. Um, there's your collection screen here, uh, which does take a few minutes to build because there is a lot of cards in the game right now um, as we go through the beta phase. This is kind of a neat way to look at your collection. You can filter by the different series we have. So just like every other card collecting mode, we have different kinds of series. We have the live series. We have one-hit wonders. We have rookie sensations. We have all-time legends, historical all-stars, future legends, record breakers, unsung heroes, and top wire season. Now, you guys know, if you guys saw on Twitter earlier, there's a 100 overall perfect card. That's what we call our 100s in the game. They're the perfect cards. There's a 100 overall Roger Clemens from the 1997 season with the Blue Jays. I need that card. Chat, okay? So you can look at all the different cards on here. You can see all types 2,616 different cards that you can get. Let me say that one more time. 2,616 cards that are available in the game right now. They're available in the beta. Now, for those of you who don't know, who may be on the fence about the beta... Once we reset everything for the full release, which right now we're targeting sometime around the end of the month. Uh, TJ does have a better team. I, I don't disagree. Um, once we release the full version of Perfect Team at the end of the month and we leave beta, we're going to be resetting everything. Everyone is going to start over at the same 
level. But right now we do offer the ability to purchase perfect points on Steam. If you buy perfect points on Steam during the beta phase, those points will be credited to your account when we go live, when we come out of beta. So if you buy 2,000 perfect points, when we reset everything, we're going to credit your account with 2,000 perfect points. So you're not going to lose... Um, you're not going to lose any in-app purchases that you've made. You can see your history. So season one, I went 80 and 82, finished 10 games back, didn't have a real good season, not having a good season this year. You can see all of your seasonal achievements down the side here. So we actually had Mitch Keller um, threw a no-hitter on April 30th. That was worth a solid 1,000 points. That's a pack, chat. Uh, and the universe screen's not working. It is coming soon. It's basically going to be a hierarchy that's going to show you all the different levels. Right now, all of our leagues are based on Greek letters. Um, we're actually going to be making a transition, so all of our leagues are named after Major League Baseball legends. So that's going to be kind of cool. Um, again, this is going to see be able to show you the different managers that are within Perfect Team. That's coming as well. Rankings are coming. Record book is coming. All of that stuff is coming out. Again, it's in beta. Things are rolling out on a almost everyday kind of basis. Um, the trophy cabinet, I have none because I'm terrible. Community, still under construction. Right now, if you need some community, like I said, the two biggest resources you can use right now, discord.gg slash OOTP. We have almost, I think we're like a handful of members short of 500 in the Discord already, which is insane. Or... Twitter.com slash OTP perfect team, or you can go to the forums, otpdevelopments.com slash board. There's an entire forum dedicated to perfect team um, that myself and Marcus and a lot of our users are perusing regularly. So there's definitely different aspects of community. Some of those are going to make their way in here um, before too long. You can customize your team. I don't spend a whole lot of time doing this. I know, I know. Um, I probably should spend more time customizing my team. I just, you know what? I just want to get in and play the game. Customizing my team uh, is not something that I really, you know, want to spend a whole lot of time doing. But we have 750 logos for you to choose from. You can uh, change your caps. You can change your uniforms. You can change all that stuff right in PT. No different than in a regular out-of-the-park baseball league. And then you can change your ratings as well. If you like to use the uh, 1 to 20 ratings, go right ahead. Um, it, this shows you the last time you get your team information, just some different things here. So again, no different. What's going on, NYG? How you doing, buddy? No different. Again, these screens, guys, are going to be very familiar to what you're using in-game. Here's your roster management. We showed that a little earlier. Um, here's your pitching staff. Again, no different, right? You've got your starters. You've got your relievers. Um, you can set pitch count limits if you want. Um, you can specify reliever roles. Again, this screen, exactly the same as it is in the main out-of-the-park franchise, and it functions exactly the same. When the computer in 16 minutes, where is it, 16 minutes right there, simulates, it's going to use what I have said on this screen. I just picked up you Darvish. Right before the stream started, I picked up you Darvish. First game, he threw seven and a third innings. It's great. Uh, no, Waffle, we're going to do the Vancouver Islanders after this. We're going to we're doing a little PT walkthrough. Um, I'm going to open a few packs, and then right around... Uh, right around 8.30, we're going to jump into 8.30, 8.45-ish, we're going to jump into the Islanders. Um, so this, again, this screen functions exactly the same as a regular out of the park. Lineups and depth charts function exactly the same. Uh, the only difference is we don't have the pitcher lineups. There's always a DH. Um, 22 packs. Oh, yeah. Marcus, Marcus felt bad for my team, and he said, listen, he said, I know you're streaming the, the, the playthrough tonight. I know... Uh, I know you're you're streaming the playthrough tonight, and hey, here's here's some perfect points. Buy yourself some packs. So Marcus with the Marcus with the top shelf gift. He realized I'm struggling. Um, again, so this screen same as it is in the game. You manage your lineups versus righty versus lefty. There's your graphical depth chart. There's your overview that shows your righty lefty, and you can even set your seven day lineups. So if you're going into a really important stretch. Um, you can set your lineups here for all seven days, the next seven days that are going to simulate uh, the old stimulus package. Exactly, Duke. Um, <laughs> hell of an owner. Exactly. Um, Fear the beard. We're definitely going to be doing stuff. So without giving away too much knowledge, but 
one thing we're going to be doing, guys, is once Out of the Park or Perfect Team goes full release, comes out of beta, we're actually going to be doing a weekly Perfect Team show on Mondays. Um, I'm not going to tell you what the name of it is or anything like that yet, but we are going to be doing a weekly Perfect Team show where we're going to be talking about the mode. And there's definitely going to be some opportunities, not every week, but there's going to be some times where we may do some different giveaways and stuff like that. Um, so, I mean, stay tuned for that. Obviously, none of that stuff is really like 100% confirmed yet. But you know what? As we get into full release, we're going to be doing a lot more Perfect Team related stuff while still doing the regular stuff we're really excited about the mode guys i mean if you can't tell i mean i'm excited you guys know if you guys are here every other tuesday night you guys know how much i love this game period um and then if you guys follow my personal uh my personal channel you guys know i love card collecting mode so this is like taking two loves it's like taking bacon and a hamburger and putting it together it's two things that are excellent on their own but you put them together and it's magical right streaming with snaggle i mean that's a great name, but that's not what it is. Um, so we go back in here. So here's your global strategy, guys. This is your overall team. You can go in and you can manage all your different things. Um, if you want to be a base stealing team, if you want to be a power team, if you want to pitch around guys, if you want to intentionally walk guys, you can go by whole game, early game, late game, last inning. Then you also have the player strategy, so you can set strategies for individuals. So, for example, I have a role as Chapman set um, to force role as closer. Um, you could do different things. For example, uh, where's Lou Brock? I have Lou Brock's base stealing set to frequently, uh, bunt for hit frequently because they, you know that's what he does. You can manage the strategies, again, just like in the real out-of-the-park game. You can manage those strategies in the game. Um, you can see scores and schedules. So one thing I want to show you guys, which is really cool, because a lot of people say, well, you're not playing the games. But the one thing that's really cool that we provide you, uh, I just got to find it now. Where'd it go? Here it is. It's under here. So back to our home screen. Once a game simulates, you can see the last game we played, we beat the Brookline Black Gold 11-3, which is good uh, because they were uh, ahead of us in the standings. Shows you the brief. You can watch a replay. That's a replay of the game. There's a highlight reel, box score, and a game log. If you click the highlight reel, and I won't do it right now to save time, but it will download the actual in-game 3D highlight reel and it will play it for you. So you can actually watch highlights of the game, which is really cool. I know some people already who do not look at the box score and they actually go watch the replay or click the highlight reel and will watch it as if they don't know what the score is, like actually watching highlights of a game. So that's cool. Obviously... You have a full box score, so we can go to the box score here, have a look. Marte and Baez each with four RBIs. Again, this is just no different than the regular in-game screen, right? Um, this shows you your active roster. This is all my packs. Um, also, guys, we have a – this is our pack store right here. So right now we have a standard pack, and we do show you the pack odds. I know a few people have asked me that. The pack odds are right here. Um, so we're very transparent about what you can get in a standard pack. One bronze card guaranteed. Here are the odds for all the different levels. Gold pack, obviously for 5,000 perfect points, one gold card guaranteed. Here are the odds for that pack as well. So the odds, everything is transparent right in front of you. Um, we have individual card auctions. These are the cards we have up for auction right now. There's 132 pages of cards. Um, it works on an eBay type of system. So if I wanted to bid on this Nolan Arenado, which you can click the plus and expand. Look at that card art. Ooh, baby. Nolan Arenado right now is going for the highest bid is 3,345 points, or I can out, outright buy him for 8,000. So if I wanted to outright buy him for 8,000, it's no problem. Um, I don't have 8,000 points, but if I did, I would click buy now. Boom, he's mine. If I wanted to bid... I can bid three, three, four, six, and be the leader um, for this. But if I'm going to be away for a bit, I could put five thousand in here, and with five thousand in here, it'll go to three, three, four, six. But then in the eBay style system, if somebody outbids me, it will keep 
adding on my bid until it gets to that max that I've put in. So it, you know, again, if if I if I'm comfortable with going to eight thousand, I could put eight thousand in here, and it will go until it gets to eight thousand. Or if I end up winning it, whatever that ends up being, if somebody pushes me up to sixty five hundred, it'll go to sixty five hundred, which is really cool. So you don't have to be sitting right at the auction screen all the time, clicking. Okay, I got to make sure I get this guy. I got to make sure I get this guy. You could put in a price you're comfortable with. And you'll be able to get him uh, or not get him, depending on how active people are. Here are some auctions that I've done. I've sold a few cards. You know, not bad. I, I wish I had this Charlie Maxwell back, but he was terrible. Here's some bid history that I've had. I only had one bid. Tom Bergmeier didn't get him. Selling cards. Again, this is where you can go. You can sell cards. You can offer them in an auction, which will bring up this screen. Starting bid is obviously the minimum starting bid you can have is what the quick sell price is. You can also put in a buy now price. It's optional. But if you say, I'm looking to get 10K out of this, you put in 10K, boom, it's done. Keep in mind, all auctions have a 10% tax, same as every other card collecting game that's ever existed. Um, this is going to be some information we are eventually going to uh, populate. We're working on the back end stuff for this right now. Um, it's going to show you the average winning bid and the highest winning bid all time. Um, yeah, I don't like the change team either, but that's a different, different personal feeling altogether. Um, so then you would submit it here. Also, again, you have the ability to quick sell cards. Um, and this will show you how much you could quick sell cards for. You quick sell it, you get the, the PP right away if you don't want to go through the auction process. Right now, we do have the ability to buy in-game currency. It is only available to people who are using the Steam version. A lot of people have asked us this. But right now, it's only available to people who are using the game on Steam. We are working to roll it out to Apple and to Origin and to our standalone version. Um, but it's taking some time. Um, but you do have the option to, um, buy perfect points. It's not mandatory guys. As long as you own a copy of out of the park baseball 19, you can play the mode free of charge. Uh, this will show you transaction history. I'm not going to click on that. I don't want to be judged. I'm not going to be judged. So that's pretty much it. You can now, again, the cool thing about this guys is this is the bare, uh, this is the bare minimum of what Perfect Team is going to be. We have so many great ideas of what we want this mode to be. We're going to be introducing, as we get into Out of the Park Baseball 20, um, any idea when or if Perfect Team will come to the Linux version? It will not be coming to Linux. Um, the reason being because the server provider that we use does not support the Linux platform, uh, unfortunately. We are sorry about that, but Perfect Team will not... Uh, have a Linux version. Um, but yeah, as we head into Out of the Park 20, which by the way, guys, is like a little over four months away. Can you guys believe that? Four months away. Um, we have so many great ideas. We're going to be doing um, events, um, challenges. Oh, I'm definitely going to be opening the packs. We're going to be doing events, challenges. There's going to be uh, themed stuff. Um, we're going to be, again... Uh, starting here in December, we're going to be doing the live show every Monday night um, talking about Perfect Team. This really is, right now, the beta, what we have is is the bare minimum of what this mode is going to be. Some really cool things. Uh, do you know if reserve card limits will be increased? Currently, it's at 175. There is no immediate plans to increase it. You can have an infinite number of inactive cards. The reserve, reserve roster and inactive are two different buckets. Reserve right now is at 175 is the max. So 200 between your active roster and your reserve. Your inactive cards can be unlimited. I know it's kind of confusing, but that's the way we have it set up. Uh, the inactive section, if you go to roster management, right up here, manage inactive cards. Right under my face. But yeah, this, guys, this is the bare minimum of what Perfect Team is going to be. A couple of cool things, guys. We have had over 4,000 people give this mode a try. And the feedback has been amazing. And like I said, if, if you want to jump in the Discord, discord.gg slash OTP, go to twitter.com slash OTP Perfect Team, or hit up our forums, otpdevelopments.com slash board. 
please, we, we are looking for your feedback, whether it be good, bad, neutral. If you have improvement suggestions, a lot of the things that we have improved in the game since the beta came out were based off of your feedback are things that you guys came to us and said, Hey, I really wish, um, you know, we could do this. And we take it back to the team and we discuss it and we think, hey, that's a great idea. We're going to implement it by doing X, Y, Z. Um, all right. So now let's jump in and open some packs. We'll open a gold pack first. Oh, I love that rip sound chat. Oh, you guys can't hear that, can you? Hold on. Let me uh, real quick. I don't think the desktop audio is working. We'll fix that, though, so you guys can hear it when I hit that perfect card. Luke Jackson. That's no good. We need a good card, chat. Hey, Joe Kelly. Joe Kelly's pretty good. He's a 66, but overall doesn't tell the whole... Oh, here comes a gooder. Woo! Oh, Lance McCullers Jr. Nice. Starting pitcher upgrade. I like it. Good start. Woo! Historical all-star David Cohn. He's not a J, though. Not a J, though, chat. He's not a blue J. All right. I like this McCullers. This McCullers is nice. 84 overall, 83 stuff. This Joe Kelly is probably going to be pretty good, too. 80 stuff, 72. I, I'd be interested to see what his... Um, be interested to see what that Joe Kelly's velocity rating is. Get a regular card. Yeah, we really did try. We we work. I I don't want to say we, but the the guys who design the card design they work ridiculously hard to with the historical cards to try to make them look cool. Um, you know, from the very early designs that they had, we were like, hey, this is going to be really cool. Like this is going to be something that people are going to want. That pack was a dud. What a terrible pack, chat. Terrible pack. Um, they really, 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 the, the team worked really hard on the historical designs. Neil Walker, nice. We're in the regular packs now. We got to get back to them gold packs. That VR could be serviceable. Grayson Grainer. James Shields, 41. Ooh. Oh, oh, Craig Kimbrell, Nice. He'll fit in our bullpen nicely. We have a roll this in the bullpen, but we could use a setup, man. A roll this hasn't been pitching real good. That Kimbrel's not bad. 128 stuff. I swear if he pulls Willie Mays. You guys wouldn't believe me that these packs aren't juiced, would you? Oh, gold in a standard pack. Emilio Suarez. Nice. A lot. Ren Trek a lot. Jeff Hoffman. We got like four of him. That's a seven. All right, this pack was a winner. This pack was a winner, chat. Got that Suarez. Nice. That Suarez is going to be good. We had that Donaldson at third base, but maybe we'll sell him. Maybe we'll sell Donaldson. We'll see. Maybe we'll sell the Donaldson. Ooh, what's this? Chris Taylor, okay. Anything above a bronze in the standard pack is good because the standard packs only guarantee a bronze card. Neil Walker again. Clay Buckles. Woo! Base only a mother can love. I don't just say that because he used to pitch for the Red Sox. Oh, Shane Bieber. Shane, don't call me Justin Bieber. So many packs, chat. Like I said, if I ended up pulling, if I pulled a Willie Mays, you guys wouldn't believe me that it's not juice. Yes, NYG, that is something we are going to be implementing for 20. Um, we don't have any specifics on how it's going to work, but we basically we are going to be trying to do... We are going to be trying to do collections and sets and things like that to be able to give you something to do with your lower tier cards and turn them in for bigger sets or bigger cards or you know rewards of that nature. We're definitely 
uh, game planning and strategizing to try to find ways to make that work. He's dropped a tack on the floor. Historical all-star Nelly Fox. Woo! I'll take that. Look at that. Oh! Let's go! Let's go, baby! Woo! Packs are lit! Packs are lit, Chad! Let's go! Man, we still got so many packs to go. We already hit a Chris Bryant. That's good. We needed that Chris Bryant big time. Jose Urania. Nice. That Nelly Fox is pretty good too. No power. Contact. It's 97 defense. That Chris Bryant is pretty good too, boys. It's a nice card. That's a good pull. That's a good pull. That's what a diamond looks like right there. If you haven't seen one yet. But yeah, we're, we're, guys, we are definitely, like, again, as I said earlier, oh, gold. Oh, I already have a Roldis. Oh, well, sell bait. Anybody want to buy an Aroldis? Selling an Aroldis. Oh, everyone will pull a diamond someday. Just has to happen. You, you'll, you'll get there. You'll get there. Auction time for a roll, this for sure. I wanted to buy packs any type of card play game. It's just perfect because I don't have to spend three hours to play through the game. Yep. And that's the thing, guys. So, like, some of the some of the common concerns that we've heard is people being matched up against teams that are just spending their way to a diamond lineup. Once we have a few weeks in and the promotion relegation system does its job, you're going to be in a league with people who are performing similarly to you. And for those of you who have played out of the park baseball for any number of years, you guys are well aware that the best players don't always play like the best players. Um, sometimes the... You know, the overall doesn't tell the story. That Chris Bryant may be a 94 overall, but maybe he doesn't do anything exceptional. It's just that the averageness of his ratings add up to a 94. Other times, you'll find an 82 or an 83 gold that maybe is an unbelievable contact hitter or an unbelievable power hitter and may actually fit... Oh! Let's go! Campanella! Dang! Oh, that 87 power. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh, this has been good. Thank you, Marcus. Diamond right off the bat? No. Hank Bauer. Uh, are there going to be periodic releases of new cards throughout the year? That's the plan. I don't have any details on that, um, Duke, but we're still trying to work out, again... Right now, our, our thought process is, okay, we're in beta mode, right? Right now in beta, we have 2,600 plus cards available. Everything is out there. Um, we're putting it, you know, everything's up. There. We're dealing with beta issues. We're trying to get the game functional. What we're going to do for content when 20 comes out is still really up in the air. But we're definitely going to... Um, that's definitely going to be something we're going to be aiming to do is giving people again we're going to be doing events tournaments eventually someday guys we're actually going to roll out you're going to be able to play head to head against a friend you and your buddy can say hey let's play a game a friendly wager of a uh, bag of chips i don't know how you and your friend you and your friend like to live vicariously maddie alou guys this card right here this card right here has been amazing for people. I have had several people message me and be like, yo, that Maddie Alou card is unreal. A shot of Omama, exactly. That's a feature that we have planned for a future release. Yeah, this Maddie Alou with the 81 contact, people are saying is amazing. People have been really, really, really digging it. Again, overall doesn't tell the whole story, chat. It's 935. Okay. O overall doesn't tell the whole story. 
unsung hero Johnny Gomes. I love the unsung hero card art, by the way. Another great job by the art team. Yeah, we actually, uh, con funny, right? Um, contact cards are actually useful. Are there ever enough each rows? No. I'm sorry if I'm missing your guys' questions in the chat. I'm really glad. Um, for those of you who came out, I'm, I'm so happy. We are, as a team, we are unbelievably excited about this mode. Uh, I'm, gl I'm glad somebody got that. Uh, um, we are so very excited about this mode. We, we are, you know, putting everything we have into it without taking away. Uh, ooh, <laughs> that's a sweet 80s card. Without taking away from the main game, that's the best part, guys, is, you know what, it, with Perfect Team, if Perfect Team does well, it allows us to put more resources into the main game as well, which people already really enjoy, and we enjoy making, so we are very happy with, um, we are very happy with how receptive and positive people have been with the feedback so far, uh, and again, you know, I've said it many times, and I will continue to say it, we are just scratching the surface on what we want to do with this mode historical all-star paul wayner from the 30s holy jumpins indeed i need to pull a 100 where's that roger clemens at i need that 97 roger clemens i need it i need that 19 oh this isn't it Woo, Matt Carpenter, nice. All of a sudden, we have a log jam at third base. Carpenter can probably play first, though. Carpenter can probably play first. That'll be good. I pity the teams in our league, chat. We're going to be so much better tomorrow. All right, we're into the gold packs now. Where's the money at? Somebody holler me. Give me a perfect card here. TJ got to pull a 100. I want a Johnny Bench. I don't need him. I have Campanella, but still. I want that Roger Clemens. Where is he? I had an Anthony Rizzo early on. I got rid of him. Bud Harrelson. This has to be a gold. Corey Seager. Okay. Okay. Seeger's got that like that, that good contact hit power ratio. I like it. I'm a big fan. I like it. Big fan. Omar Navarez. Narvez. Seeger, yeah. I've heard people saying Seeger's really good. We have Baez at short right now. And Baez has, he, Baez has been lights out for me. Dallas Keuchel, another starter upgrade. I don't want them golds. I need them. I, where's them shiny blue ones? I want more of them shiny blue ones, chat. That's what we need. We need more, we need more blue paint. I need them shining bright cards. Some gold relievers that aren't so gold. I have a roll this Chapman. I've had a roll this Chapman since very, very early. Ooh, Carlton Fisk is one of my all-time favorites, chat. Um, but yeah, um, I've had a roll this, and he was very, very, very good for me in season one. All-star, had a sub-2 ERA. This season, he's been absolutely garbage. Like, just, like, the worst kind of garbage. Oh, another bullpen arm. Can never have too many bullpen arms, chat. Three packs to go. For those of you coming by for our Vancouver Islanders 1998 expansion franchise, we'll be starting in, a, in about five minutes. Um, as soon as we finish opening the rest of our packs here, we'll switch on over to our usual season eight content. Ronald Acuna Jr., 2018 National League Rookie of the Year. 
to no one's surprise. Brewers, the Brewers are everywhere. Two packs left. Come on, we need, we need, we need a diamond. We need one more diamond to round this out. Campanella, Bryant, one more. One more real. Oh, there's a gold. Get the gold out of the way, right? Ron Say? Another third baseman? Third baseman, OP, confirmed. Come on, diamond. Is perfect team like ultimate team? It's similar. Oh, thought that was a diamond. Those silvers get me. Those silvers slide out of there with a little bit of sheen. All right, last pack, chat. Last pack, chat. See if we get something absolutely white hot. I don't think anything's going to beat that Campanella. That Campanella is an amazing pull. Here's our gold. Miles Nicholas. Nice, solid stash. Miles Nicholas rocking the Movember edition card. If there's only a Brewers only tournament, I would be all set. Absolutely. Jesse Winker. Come on. Come on. Just one. One. That uh, last card. One time, hit me with that diamond. I don't think it's going to, but I would like it. Ah, silver. All right, good packs, though. Good packs. We pulled some good stuff, chat. We pulled um, we pulled some real good stuff. We pulled what? Uh, what did we pull? We got... We got that 96 Campanella. This 96 Campanella chat is an amazing card. 87 home run power. Um, that's insane. I'm just going to do uh, actions, uh, set up my complete team with the AI. It puts a roll this on the... No! I can't bring him back? Oh, it's my. It's a different Aroldis. They put the new Aroldis card. So we made some improvements, chat. I'll go through and fix all this stuff up later, but we made some improvements. We've added Acuna to the lineup, Campanella, Bryant, Carpenter. Nice, 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 nice. Using only two starting pitchers with a bunch of relievers? That'd be interesting. I don't know if you'd add any longevity out of that. Exactly. Pockets, that's a great idea. But guys, that is a tour, a walkthrough of our brand new Perfect Team mode. Again, still in beta. If you want to try Perfect Team, all you need to do is have a license of Out of the Park Baseball 19 for Steam, for Mac, from the Apple Store, or on Origin. Download the most recent update and it's and sign in. On the front screen, as it saves my league, sign in on the front screen and play Perfect Team. Um, give it a try. Let us know what you think. Again, it's still in beta. We're still changing and tweaking a few things here and there. Um... So make sure that, you know, if you're interested in trying it, jump in, try it out. Uh, again, if you want to provide feedback or join the discussion, discord.gg slash OOTP. We have almost 500 members in our Discord channel. Um, out of the park, or sorry, um, OOTPdevelopments.com slash board. If you prefer to use the forums, you can go on there and use our forums as well. We have a dedicated Perfect Team forum. Or you can hit us up on Twitter at twitter.com slash OOTP perfect team, all one word. Uh, and again, guys, you know, feel free to jump into any of those methods. Hit us with your feedback, your comments, your questions, your concerns. Um, over on the Discord channel, one of the popular channels right now is um, lineup advice. People are actually bouncing lineup ideas off of other people, trying to get, you know, some different ideas, some different strategies. Uh, you know, people who are in different leagues trying to help each other out. It's wonderful to see some of the discussion that goes on there in the run of a day. Um, we have Discord channels for each of the leagues as well, or each of the levels. Um, so you can have conversations with people who are in the same level and league as you as well. Um, so that is going to be it for the perfect team portion. Uh, like I said, check it out. Check it out. Uh, if you haven't already picked up a copy of Out of the Park Baseball 19, you can do so at otpdevelopments.com or on Steam or on EA's Origin platform or from the um, Apple Store uh, on your Mac as well. Uh, I'm going to switch back to the loading screen real quick, and then we are going to jump in to our 1998 expansion um, franchise. If you guys are, are we're just here for the perfect team portion, and you guys check out. I hope you guys have a great rest of the night and keep swinging. 
for the fences. And if you stick around, I'll see you guys in just a few seconds.